Hello my friends, welcome back to Everyday People where I give you tips for just everyday people who just want to do something different or improve their makeup application skills. I'm really excited to share with you how I found my perfect contour shade. It's super easy and you can totally do it too. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. great about this video is I'm not just going to show you how to find your perfect contour shade, I'm also going to show you how to apply your contour in the right space for your individual face. There's so many tutorials out there for how to apply different makeup, but sometimes it works for your face shape and sometimes it doesn't. These tips are going to help anybody of any skin tone and any face shape to contour. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to focus just on the cheeks today, and for me, the purpose of contouring is to kind of hollow out my cheeks a little bit to bring my cheekbones forward so that my face looks a bit slimmer. Now, if you already have prominent cheekbones, you probably don't even really need to contour your cheeks. So don't feel like just because contouring is a thing that you need to do it. Personally, I love the way that it looks. We're gonna use all drugstore products today and all drugstore tools so that more people can access the things that I am showing you. So what you're gonna do is you're going to do the opposite of what you like with a selfie, which is to purposely put a shadow on your face with your phone. The way that I think is the best way to do this is to go outside on a sunny day and put it in front of the sun. You can close your eyes if you want. Don't look directly at the sun, please, and take a picture of yourself. Here the pictures that I took, one is in sunlight and one is under my filming lights. You don't want to take a photo in home lighting where your face looks yellow. I know you've seen those pictures of yourself or others where it's got a yellow tone because of that warm home lighting. It's really important to look at the photo and look at your face in a mirror and see whether it actually looks like your natural skin tone because if it's too yellow, it's not going to work. It has to look like your real skin tone. Then what you're going to do is you're going to take your photo and you're going to put it onto your computer. Now this is the tool that I use, but you can use any tool you want that has a color picker. So I use PicMonkey to make my thumbnails for YouTube and it just so happens that the text feature on there does have a color picker. So what I do is I import my photo and I make it so it's ready to insert some text and type whatever you want, it doesn't even matter. and then you're going to color pick the lighter part of the shaded section. You don't wanna go super dark, you want it to be just different than what your natural skin tone is. And you can even look and see on the same place on the lit side, you can look and see whether it is different or not. But you wanna get that shadowed color of your natural skin tone. It looks, when you first glance at it, that it might be gray, but it's actually not. It's gonna give you just a darker version of your skin tone. That is your perfect color contour shade. Now I'm gonna show you the photo from under my filming lights. These are LED cool toned lights and you can see that it is a little bit warmer. Uh, my skin tone just looks a little more flushed, a little warmer. This is as warm as I ever wanna go with my contour. I don't wanna go warmer because it's gonna start looking orange on me. So now I have found my perfect contour shades and I can compare that to things I already own. I can take a photo of these photos. I can take a print out, whatever I want to the store and match up these colors with the colors that are in the store or in my own personal collection to find my perfect contour shade. Now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I apply my contour and some tips and tricks that I've learned along the way for not getting that whole bearded look that looks really weird. I'm gonna show you where to place your contour right now. So now that we have found our contour shade, let's go ahead and contour. So what you wanna do is you can take a makeup brush or any other pen or something and what you're going to do is you're going to line up the top of your ear right here to your lip and that is your contour line. Now <laughs> what I used to do which was the big mistake was I used to go like this and I'd put it right here. You see the difference? 
and then it looks like you have a beard. So right here to right here, which looks like it's in blush territory, but it, it kind of is, but it isn't. So your blush is gonna go kind of overlapping. So here's your contour line. Your highlight line is on top of your cheekbone and then your blush kind of goes overlapping in the middle, if that makes sense. We're gonna do it all. So I'm gonna take my e.l.f. contour kit and I'm going to dip in this e.l.f. brush. Uh, and I don't know what the name of this brush is, but it's the number 104. It's from their newer line. These are really nice brushes. And I'm just gonna start at the top, like almost like playing pool, right? And we're gonna just kind of draw and stamp toward the inner corner of the lip. Now we wanna stop kind of where the center of the eye is, right here. So you can see I need to go just a, ooh, my eyeliner's a little off there. Oh, it's going on there, but this isn't an eyeliner video, so we're in a good shape. And I'm gonna kind of make it just a little bit further, but you want the deepest color to be right in the back. You want the lightest color to be in the front. So don't dip your product back in. If, if you feel like you need more product to get to the center of your eye, swipe it down and drag some of that product forward instead of adding more product in the front. Okay, so now that I've got that line there, now I'm going to blend it out. This is the e.l.f. blush brush, another fantastic product. And I'm just going to, in circular motions, just kind of blend that out. You don't wanna to go too much lower, so you wanna kind of go upward circular. And it's okay at this point if it still seems a little bit dark because you're gonna add your blush and if you want to, your highlight at this point. Go ahead and do the other side. I was trying to think what blush I wanted to use, and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot Profusion had sent me their holiday collection. So we're gonna use this bad boy right here. This shade would be a little bit more subtle of a contour, but we weren't going for that today because you know I'm trying to show you and you gotta be able to see it. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead for blush and we're gonna go in a little bit with Bloom and a little bit with First Date. Holy moly, that's a lot of, lot on there. Hopefully this comes out okay because that's a lot of pigment here. Okay, and we're gonna Put that right over top of the contour, so almost like it stripes it out. That is a lot of pigment. <laughs> We're gonna blend that in a second. Holy moly. Okay, so now I'm gonna tap off all the excess product because that's enough, and then blend the contour into the blush. I've seen photos where they say if you have a square face, you should really stick to the apples of your cheeks as far as blush application because I have an oval face. I like to just follow my contour. Since we got out this palette, we might as well use the highlight in here. So I'm going to go in with this elated shade. Hopefully you can see. My focus keeps going out when my eyeballs go out. There we go, let's go into elated, and we'll put that right on the tops of the cheekbones, right above the blush line. So almost like, think about it like Neapolitan ice cream. You've got your highlight, which is your vanilla, and then your, uh, your strawberry, which is your blush, and then your chocolate, which is your contour. That's always the way that I like, I always see it when I put it on. And you definitely wanna keep your highlight up as high as your cheekbones are. I feel like I don't quite match, so I'm gonna go back over with the blush a little bit. So back into Bloom and First Date. Tap that off this time, because that pigmentation will look crazy. And then back into the contour just a little bit. I feel like right there I could use just a little bit more. And then we're just gonna blend it all out. But being careful not to get any highlight down low. 
Now in real life, this is a lot of blush, but under these bright lights, I wanted you to be able to see it, so I beefed it up quite a bit. But if you're going to work or school, you definitely don't, you probably, not definitely, but you probably don't want it as bright as I have it in my natural mirror right here. It's a little bit crazy. I look like I'm going to a dance competition or something, but uh, for you, it looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you out now for final thoughts. So as you can see, once you find the right shades, it's really not super difficult to apply the contour if you know where to go on your own particular face and you know how far to go. So again, starting at the top of the ear, pointing down toward the corners of your mouth like a pool stick, almost like you're shooting for that eight ball, and then stopping in the center of your, like right where the middle of your eyes are and making sure that the majority of the product is in the back, faded out to the front. You don't want it super dark in the middle, you want the darker part on the outside faded in. I hope you found this video on finding your contour shade and how to apply contour helpful. If you did, definitely make sure that you hit the subscribe button because I make lots and lots of videos. I do nine videos per week, five makeup minutes, which are makeup news, and then our weekly makeup news show on Sundays. I also put up three other videos per week. They're usually review videos. Occasionally you get a video like this that's kind of tutorial-like. And if you enjoy that style of video, definitely make sure you subscribe and I'd love to have you as part of our collective brain of makeup awesomeness. Speaking of the collective brain, if you have any tips or tricks that you use in order to contour, definitely leave those in the comments down below. If you have any questions about this video, you can leave those in the comments below as well. And mad love to you, and I will see you in a video soon.